Hey, hi. Uh, thanks a lot for joining this webinar. And uh, in this webinar, we are going to see a full overview of Texa, all the features we have, starting with spices, our workflows, prospector, LinkedIn drip campaigns, uh, integrations that we have, and talk about some uh, limits and safety concerns. And then we will also talk about Texa APIs. So um, uh, we'll be covering every single feature of Texa in this webinar. Um, so let's wait for a few moments and see, um, uh, let all the people join in and then we'll start, okay? Okay, so now that everyone is here, let's start with uh, the most basic part, which is our name. We call it Texa. And uh, I think a lot of people have this question that how we have come up with this name and what is the meaning of this. So as you can see, um, Texo is, is a combination of two words, which is text and automation. So we took the text TX part from text and then AU from automation and that's how we call it Texo. Um, and uh, our whole goal of building this uh, tool is to automate the web. So we automate everything related to text on websites. Currently, we have over 150 plus automations for 10 different platforms, which includes Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, Google, YouTube, um, and many other like general websites uh, automations as well. Um, so we call them spices, which is our next part. So um, if you go to, if you see uh, spices, which are like single automation, uh, these automations like automate an activity on any website. For example, let's say you want to extract any data from your website, you want to click on some stuff, you want to send a message, you want to uh, follow some people on Instagram or Twitter, right? So all these single activities uh, are known as spice or you can say automation, okay? So in the next part, let's see how, to, uh, how the spices looks like on Texa and then run some automations uh, to see the most basic part of our platform. Okay. Okay. So we were talking about spices, right? So first thing that you need to do is sign up on Texo. And once you complete the onboarding screen, this is the screen that you will see. And here we have all our spices, uh, which I mentioned as like, there's like single automations. For example, here you can extract some save account list from sales navigator. You can scrape products from product hunt. You can extract Google search results. You can extract reviews like uh, Pinterest profile, Google trends, uh, extract some conversation links from LinkedIn, right? You can take a screenshot of a LinkedIn profile. So if you just scroll down, you will see all these automations for different platforms. For example, here, these are like all Facebook automations, right? This is for extracting some members from Facebook group, adding someone as a friend on Facebook, or maybe like if you want to scrape a profile on, on Facebook, right? Uh, this is for extracting pixels from website, right? So just keep scrolling and you will find many automations um, uh, on, on, on our platform. And as, as of now, we have around 160 to 155 automations uh, for 12 to 13 platforms, okay? Uh, so all these blocks that you are seeing, we call them spices or you can say automations. So let's go ahead and run a very simple automation just to see how it works. So here you can see all these icons which are like platforms. Let's click on web, uh, website. And here you will see all the websites based automations and we'll click on company name to domain which is our most basic automation that we uh, show people. So this one takes a Google Sheet or CSV or even a single input and gives you complete domain, right? So basically if you mention company name and run the automation, it will give you company domain, right? And here we have some fields. You can see what all data you will get by clicking on this button. And this gives company name, the return domain and company website. And here you have this field which says name this execution. So what does this mean? This means that basically each automation run that you will do you can give it a name. For example, I can give it as like a demo test, right? Because I'm just like doing this demo and I'm just showing it to you, right? So you can give it a name for each execution that you will do. For example, let's say you want to 
when you are processing a CSV file, you can mention that client Alex uh, CSV file, something like that, right? So uh, this will help you in making sure that you know what this automation, what this result contain. Now let's go ahead and type Texo and click on find domain. So I'll just add like my company name here and I'll click on find domain. When and now this this is how the automation will start. You will see the name here and it will show the logs here uh, with the timestamp and it will show like starting company name to domain automation, finding domain for Texo and then in a few seconds you will have the uh, domain ready for this input. So um, yeah, as you can see it took like 19 seconds. Ideally it takes very uh, less second, I think like four to five. So um, and you go to results from here and then you will see like the domain and all the data. So you saw the name that we added, the domain name and website as well. And you can copy this website to for further processing. Um, so this is a very simple automation. And let's say if you have a company name from maybe like uh, on a website or you have pulled that company name from uh, somewhere like maybe Upwork or maybe Google Maps or maybe even just from um, any directory you can pull all of that company name and then pass to this automation and it will convert all those company names to company domain, right? So this is the most basic automation on TechZop. Now let's go ahead and run some uh, automations for Facebook or LinkedIn, just to show you like how uh, it works for those platforms. Okay, so now let's go ahead and run one automation for Facebook and we are going to run extract Facebook group members. So let's go to um, our spice page and type group and here you will find uh, this automation which is extract profiles from Facebook group. Click on this and here you will see some fields. Uh, so this is see user and access which are like the cookies that Facebook stores in your browser and we take that cookies to run automation and then here we have group URL the input that you will add and then here you can also mention like the join date or by from when you want to like pull all the mem members who join for example let's say you want to pull only the members who joined this month so you can select this month right um or again i will select all the members since i want to pull all the members from that group and the limit for this group or uh, group automation like extracting group members is close to ten thousand. so at one run we will be able to pull ten thousand members data using this automation and here you will see what data you will get, which includes profile URL, unique ID, profile picture URL, full name, first name, last name, name of the group, group URL, member since like how, uh, since how long that person is the member of that group, right? And then profile data such as like job or, or location and the timestamp, but basically it means that when, when did you run this automation? So that's the timestamp. Now let's go ahead and open our Facebook group, what that the, the one that we want to scrape. And uh, I'm going to use this group called LinkedIn Growth Hackers. And it's a very good group uh, where all the people who are uh, active on LinkedIn um, are, are um, they like hang out and do all the stuff uh, and talk about like all the LinkedIn stuff. So um, I'm going to copy this URL from here and go back to Texo, first paste this group URL, remove the members part. And then for our uh, these cookies, we are going to use Texo ex extension. You can install Texo Chrome extension by simply searching for it. Um, just search Texo Chrome extension and uh, go to this link. Download our extension, and uh, you can easily get cookies from any all these social media platforms. Okay, so let's go ahead. And since I have this extension here. I'll click on get cookie and this will be filled for me because I have I'm already logged in on Facebook right so um, what we do it what we did till now we added our cookies using Texo Chrome extension you need to download the Chrome extension uh, by just searching Texo Chrome extension on Google search you need to add the group URL here and you need to add the filters that you want to uh, like add for example all members or this month or today right you can add all those filters from here and once you have done all that, um, once you have done all the fields, you are done with all the fields. We can name the execution here. So I'll just call it Ally Growth Hackers, right? And then 
let's go ahead and click on extract members this will start the automation for us and then it will go to LinkedIn go to Facebook and try to run um, this automation and grab the members so this is logging in it has connect, collected to my account now it is pulling the group members and it should take a few seconds or maybe like a 30 20 30 seconds and it should give me all the members from this group as so as you can see we got like 10 members now it will pull under like 300 or 200 members and then it will pull up to like 10,000 members using this automation so we have 120 is done 140 right so this will just keep running the automation and um, yeah so let's, let's keep this running for now and once we get the data I would like to show you one more cool stuff that you can do after getting the data so that is very important and by the time this is running you can also see this field called schedule this automation so basically you can set up a schedule to extract any member who are joining like let's say you want to uh, run the automation uh, for all the members who joined last day right so let's say if you are a group member or group owner you can set up this automation to run every day at some fixed time and pull all the members who most recently joined right so you will have the very updated data from any uh, Facebook group so we got like close to eight, uh, 1000 members now and this should take like a few uh, yeah 1000 right so it, it should take a few seconds and give me all the data so while this is running I'll show you one more quick, quick uh, feature of Texo so when you get a result you can run another automation from that result so this is one of the group mem um, a group that I had extracted I think last week and you will see some options here right so this one which is run spice using result is feature that I wanted to show you so for example let's say I have full names right and if I want to find these people on LinkedIn I need to pass this full name uh, to the, that LinkedIn profile finder automation right so how can I do this right from here so I'll click on run spice using result and then I will see this pop up right I'll select LinkedIn and then type the automation that you want for example like find and then you will see find a LinkedIn profile select that automation click next and now it is asking for the query so it will pull all these columns from these results and show you here right and you can pass simply full name which is name and then the automation will start and will try to find LinkedIn profiles of each of these members right so I can directly run any automation from this results of one automation right so this is a very handy and very good idea to run one automation right from the results of another automation and we have the advanced version of this that we call workflows that we will see in, in, in a few moments uh, so let's go back to this aut automation that we are running and see how it is doing here so we should have close to okay uh, 2004 500 some members have already been extracted yeah let's keep it running until uh, then let me show you one more quick trick that uh, will help you a lot so here you see this button called generate public URL right what does it do it gives you a unique URL that you can share with your team members or you can upload this data directly from here to Google sheet so let me show you how that works so click on generate public URL go to create a new Google sheet right go to sheets.new and it will create a new Google sheet for you and here on Google sheet we have a function called import data so if you just do a equals import data I'm not sure why Google is not showing me this yeah so import data you will see this function just add a double bracket and paste your uh, URL that you will get from Texa so copy this public URL and then go back to that autumn uh, sheet and paste that URL here close this bracket and click enter 
what this will do this will pull all the data from that automation from that results page and and upload all of that here okay so this one is showing that the size of that csv is very huge and that is the reason why this this is the the you it is not able to import that whole data so let's go ahead and try a very basic or maybe like a small csv file for example let's say this one so this should have like 10 or something like members let's click on generate public url and copy this public url here go back and write that function again add the url add the whole bracket and click enter now you see that whole data from texa has been uploaded in this google sheet right and you can then like basically talk to your team members or you can share this, this with your team members you can use this google sheet to do the further processing using using zapier on integromat right so this feature is very handy you can copy this public url and then share it with uh, uh, paste it directly on google sheet or you can share it with your team members so directly download the whole data right so this is a uh, phase like one of the features that we have so you can run automations right from results of another automation or you can also get public url and paste that uh, with your team or in a google sheet right so this be, this is a big group so it will keep running and uh, try to find pull all the members so let's let's pause this for now and i will have around 4000 4, or some some members let's click on result and see all the members so we have close to like 4300 members from the this automation and i got like all the members from that group like close to 5000 right i can keep that automation running and get uh, all the rest of the members as well so this is how you run like any automation for uh, on any social media platform like facebook or linkedin or you can run a lot of company based automations as well so this was all about like texo spices and when you create your account go ahead and try these automations um to and see how it works as the next part we will see what is texo recipes or you can say workflows and how it works okay okay so moving to our next feature which is recipes so what is a, a recipe or you can say workflow so basically texo recipes is a feature which allows you to create complex automations by connecting one automation with another right so for example let's say you want to just like i showed you you want to extract some members from facebook group then you want to find them on linkedin and once you have the linkedin profile you can send them a connection request right so these are like three different automations one is extracting facebook group second is finding them on linkedin and third is sending a connection request right if you try to do this work manually then it, i think like it will take you probably like maybe uh, one hour or even more or maybe like three four hours depending on how big that facebook group is but with text of workflows you can connect these automations together and build build that workflow in just few moments uh, i think like just five six more minutes and then it will be ready uh, you all you need to do is like add the fields and inputs right and another thing is that as as uh, you can add conditions you can add if fields you can add conditional flows so you can based on your conditions flow can be in two different branches or even multiple branches as well so this is what text or recipes will be able to do right you can for example here you can see some examples we have uh, extract group maps listing and then find emails and then submit all of that data to google sheet right so this automation will extract all the maps listing let's say marketing agencies in boston right and then it will just pull all those listing from from boston uh, from that listing on google maps and then it will find emails from the website right and then all the data that is collected it will pull all of that and send to google sheet right and here we have another recipe which is let's say you have a list of company names that you got from maybe like built with or any other uh, directory where you there are of domains are available so get, you get the domains and then here you can extract social media pages of that domains like facebook youtube instagram linkedin pages you can extract emails from those website you can find them on linkedin uh, find their linkedin company page 
you can find the employees who are working at that company uh, by using this automation and then lastly you can send them connection request so just by using the company domain you were able to do so much work you able you were able to find social, social media links find found them on linkedin found the employees who are working at that company and then send them connection request if you like think of how this whole process will work manually it will take like hours or even more than like a few days right just consider like assigning this work to your va and how much he will charge you for this work so this is the power of text or recipes it allows you to connect these automations together and uh, build these workflows in just like 5 to 10 minutes so let's see how to run this on Texo and just create some recipe okay so um, here we are on Texo platform let's go to recipes by clicking here and then you need to click on create a new recipe and here you will see some buttons uh, like save recipe undo redo CSV and Google sheet upload variables uh, we, you can read the, our guides on how to use variables and then you have this option which says process only new results and this one says use proxy or not right so um, let's create a new a very simple recipe and see how it works so uh, as I mentioned about in an example like we will be extracting a group members from Facebook group we will find them on LinkedIn and then we will send a connection request so let's go ahead and click on Facebook and here you will type group and select this automation which is extract profiles from Facebook group right and these are the inputs that we have seen in spices so you, you will fill all the inputs here right and then click on this plus button select LinkedIn again and then type find and select this automation which is find a LinkedIn profile right and then now this is going to take a query now how you will uh, map the output from previous automation to this automation you will click on this small plus button here and you can see all the data that previous automation will give us which includes profile URL UID full name all those details right and we are going to pass the full name to find LinkedIn profiles you can if you have the company name as well you can add a space and then map the company name as well so it will pass full name and company name to find the profile once this is done you can close it now uh, we need to find uh, we need to send a connection request as well after we get the LinkedIn profile URL right so let's click on this plus button select LinkedIn again and type connection and select this one which is send a LinkedIn connection request now when you select this automation you will see this inputs and this is going to take the cookie so you will be when you will be logged in on LinkedIn just click on this get cookie button it will be added for you and this profile URL we need to map that from the previous automation so we'll click on this plus button and then you will see this find a LinkedIn profile gives this data which includes query timestamp and LinkedIn URL so we need to map the LinkedIn profile URL right so this automation requires LinkedIn profile URL and message which is optional so you can leave this box empty or you can also write a message so let's say hey uh, or hi and then add some names like maybe first name how are you I wanted to discuss something okay just adding a, a message just to show you and you can see how much characters how many characters we have added in the message then you get some more options this is related to spice so you can send only if you want to send only to second circle you can check this box then if you want to verify the connection request was sent it adds like extra, extra 30 seconds so you can like check this box and then you if you have a premium account the limits gets almost doubled so if you have premium account you can check this box as well right once you added like all the details you can close this box now our automation is ready uh, so around it take it took like around like two minutes for us to complete this whole flow right I think in just two minutes we did this whole flow and now you, once you have it all the details simply just need to click on save and then run it when you run it this will take you to the recipes page on results so let's go to results page click recipes and here you will see um, the recipe logs 
and um, when you click on results you will be able to see the uh, results of each step like this right um, so you can see step by step results of each recipe as well and then you can download the whole CSV file from here so this was recipes and since recipes are may you may find recipes uh, pretty advanced since it, it is like a workflow so we have uh, this public recipe page which allows you to uh, use the pre-made recipes that we have created so you can see we have this Instagram user follow and follow um, a recipe we have extract map listing find email and then submit all of that to Google sheet we have connect with website visitors on LinkedIn we have some recipe for uh, sending connection requests we have for drink campaigns same goes for Twitter grow, growth and follow follow game that people do on Twitter so we have all these recipes that you can use so if you click on any of this recipe you can see this recipe pre-made all you need to do is like click on use this recipe button and then it will be added to your account okay so all you need to do is like just fill the inputs and click run so we have public recipes as well which will allow you to simply use the pre-made recipes that we have created so this was a very quick overview of recipes and uh, if you want to explore this feature like obviously go to our support docs and read about recipes and if you need any help you can also uh, reach out to our support team and ask for uh, things uh, for the next feature we'll be talking about prospector so let's see what it is okay so our next feature is Texo prospector and let's see what Texo prospector does let's say you have a list of company names and you want to find a targeted profile working at these companies for example let's say you have list of marketing agencies just the name and you want to find maybe all the co-founders or CEOs working at this company or you have list of enterprise companies names and you want to find all the sales managers or uh, business manager at these companies so what you can do you can use text of prospector <clears throat> and it takes a list of company names and the job rules that you are looking for for example I can upload all the hundred enterprise companies that I'm, uh, I want to work with and then upload that and, and then I can mention that in terms of job roles sales manager comma marketing manager or a growth hacker right and then upload all of this data to text of prospector and when you click run it will go to LinkedIn and find all the people with this matching title find their emails find their LinkedIn profiles get their basic details, headline, description, full name, every single thing and come back to you with all the data. So it takes like, it gives you easily find emails and all of the data of target profiles using company names, right? Prospector takes the list of company names and the job role of the profile and returns you a CSV of all the emails and profile data. So this is how it looks. Um, what you get, you get profile URL of the employee full name, email address, job, <coughs> company profile, location of the employee and domain of the company as well, right? <coughs> so this is how you can um, use Texo Prospector. So let's go ahead and see how Texo Prospector works um, and, and give it a try. Okay, so just like our spices, Texo Prospector, the interface is quite same to Texo Spices. So you will see what information you will get from here all this data that you will get from a of each profile you can name this out automation run here you need to fill your cookies here and you can type if you just have one company name you can mention that here and if you have job roles you can type that here as like sales manager comma marketing manager comma maybe growth hacker or if you are looking for CEO you can type CEO as well and the max count field is how many profiles you want to find for this specific title for example uh, uh, let's say if you are looking for someone at Microsoft then at that company there may be like 100 and maybe like 500 sales, sales team members right or maybe like uh, marketing managers at different locations so obviously you don't want to get all of that data right you don't want to get so many profiles all at once so you can mention that you only you are only looking for five profiles for each of that that job role, right? And so this max count is like very important field. If you are dealing with any enterprise company's data, you can mention five or ten something like that to get only this those number of profiles. And here um, we have CSV or Google Sheet upload. You can upload that 
uh, if you have list of like all the company names ready you can use google sheet or you can use csv file upload to drop your file here uh, add the max count and I mention the job roles here right and once you have added all the details just click on get emails or here just click on execute csv and it will start the automation for you and and do all the work right <clears throat> Once you've added all the inputs and run the automation, this is how it looks like. You get the profile URL, you get the company, you get the first name, last name. Email fields empty right now because uh, when I had run this automation, uh, I had not uh, no credits. So uh, you need to have like email credits to run this automation. So you can, based on your plan, you get some daily credits to use. If you want to like purchase additional credits, you can go to our account. And then in subscription, you can purchase credits from here. Uh, for I think like for 10 bucks you get 500 credits so you can buy 1000 credit to get 1000 emails at once right so Texo prospector uh, the emails part you need to have email credit to find emails if you don't have email credit that is totally fine we will get you all these details uh, and leave the uh, email field empty so you will get the jobs you get the query you get the location domain all those things uh, so this Texo prospector is very helpful if you want to find target profiles using company names so this is very helpful automation for uh, pulling some leads very quickly and doing the processing on top or after getting that data so this was Texo Prospector <clears throat> now we will see one feature that we are releasing very soon which is called LinkedIn Rip Campaigns and after that we will talk about some integrations I think we can talk about the integrations right now let's see all the integrations that we have um, so as of now like we have Zapier, Integromat, HubSpot, Pipedrive, Snowvio, Hunter, Google Sheet, VerifyB, Clearout, Lamblist, Reply.io and over other 50 plus apps and you can see these integrations by going to our recipe button, going to recipes and then just open the recipe uh, spice here and you will see all the integrations listed here. So we have Lemlist, Reply.io, Moosend, Platformly, Automizy, Active Campaign, HubSpot, Google Sheet. We have webhooks as well. So you basically with webhooks, you can connect any tool out there, right? You can like Slack or any webhook, any sub tool that supports webhook, you will be able to connect Texo with that. So we have the checker as well to uh, find email, verify emails, true mail, clear out. Next view for image personalization, we have Hyperize integration as well, we have Pipedrive as well. And up, even apart from these integrations, we have Zapier, Integromat, Integrately and uh, Pabli which is coming very soon. So this is like all about like Texo integrations. So in, uh, let's see how our new feature which is LinkedIn Rip campaign works. And, and after that, I think that should be the end of Texo overview. So let's see how LinkedIn Rip campaign works and what we are building there. Okay, so before I start talking about LinkedIn Drip campaigns, the very first thing that I would like to talk about is Texo desktop app. So apart from our cloud platform, we also have desktop app, which allows you to download our app, download the whole Texo platform in your as an app in your computer and run all the automations, which means that you don't need proxy, which is very common thing in uh, for any scraping or data extraction uh, work on social media platforms. And then we desktop app use your own computer to run automation so you don't need to hit our servers or anything like that right so that makes Texo desktop as like one of the safest platform to run automation and uh, in desktop you can see these features um, if you go to uh, desktop app just go to like our website and click on desktop app you will see this page where we have apps for Windows and Mac and then all the features are same. You can run our, our spices, you can work workflows, you can use prospector, right? Uh, all the data is like saved in your computer. And you, we, you can also check our uh, difference between desktop app and cloud app uh, on our website, right? Uh, you get more automation time on desktop since everything is happening in your computer, right? Um, so you get unlimited time. Uh, there is no requirement of proxy. Uh, the only benefits of using cloud app is that if you have uh, multiple team members or if you have if you manage client accounts then the cloud app is much more uh, better compared to desktop desktop is ideal for one user and one device 
so um, make sure to check out desktop app it's very uh, very very uh, use, useful uh, app that we have built now let's go ahead and see about linkedin tip campaigns that i was talk i was talking about so all uh, right now i'm inside our uh, app and let's go to campaigns and here you can see um, the linkedin drip campaign feature from here you can add as many accounts as you want right and then um, you can create a new campaign from here and this is one of the campaign that is running at this moment so let, when you open this you will see if you want to add any new profile you can run uh, extract linkedin profile search automation and import all the profiles or you can also drop a csv file with all the linkedin profile urls right and um, and see you, you can see like these are the profiles that i have added which uh, the automation is running and then when you go to message box here you can add your connection request message you can customize the wait time that you want to add right and then um, this is going to be your follow up so you can add up to like five follow ups uh, so follow ups work like that is you send a connection request and then you wait for the user to respond if the user is not responding then you send the first follow up once the connection request is accepted right so this is like first follow up and then here also you can add like uh, hyper rise personalized images inside your follow up messages right uh, then second follow up and same way like you can add as many follow ups as you want right so this is like a linkedin drip campaign feature and then you have this configuration tab where you can um, mention how many connection requests you want to send per day how many follow ups you want to send per day right you can uh, uh, mention the dates um, the days and time you can add some keywords like if someone is saying i'm not interested i don't want this and all those things like all the negative response you can assign a tag for that and if you have there is neg any negative response you can assign for tags for that and uh, if you have any positive keywords you can assign a tags for that so basically this allows you to segment the users based on their interest right and the last part which is metrics we are working on some some uh, metrics here to show you like how your campaign is doing so this is linkedin drip campaigns which is going to be launched uh, in next one or two weeks uh, we are just going to release uh, the beat first version uh, in upcoming like two to three weeks and then after that the finalized version will be launched in a month so uh, this is linkedin drip campaigns and this was our desktop app um, I think yeah, this covers almost all the features that I have on on TechZoo as of now. So we are constantly adding new updates. So make sure to um, sign up and stay tuned for our updates and check the platform as well. Now coming to some important topics, uh, which is limits. So every single automation that we have on our platform, it has some limits, right? So obviously we do not want our users to run or heavy automations on any platform since we need to respect their platform limits as well right if you run heavy automation and keep running then uh, maybe your account get may get restricted or something will uh, or linkedin may or any platform may, may, may ban your account right and obviously that for to prevent that we have these limits that you can see on this uh, on the screen we have these limits in place to keep your account safe and how these limits work is that for example, let's say you have uh, for any activity, if the limit is like 100, then on TechZoo, you we, we keep it half of that, which is 50, right? So you will never touch the limit of for any activity on any platform using TechZoo. And that is what makes TechZoo one of the safest automation platform on the web. And we also give freedom to you, uh, let users change the limit. So you can always go to this edit limit and update the limit as like hourly or daily as per your need. But obviously we have some default limit that we want all the newcomers to respect and for the pro users they can change the limit as per their needs uh, i think yeah this covers almost everything uh, there is some parts related to proxy you can check our guide which is support.texor.com to see what things you need in terms of proxies on cloud how it works and every single thing if you have any questions uh, about Dexor demo Please drop in uh, comments in chat and then I'll be happy to answer all those questions. So yeah, this is it. Uh, thank you so much for uh, watching this webinar, webinar and uh, I hope to see you in TechZoo. Bye.